In the 20th year after Robert's landing, King Daemon Baratheon of the Iron Throne once more fought to subjugate the Iron Islands. The headstrong berserker Balon Greyjoy, who had captured him twice and had killed his father Stannis, could not be allowed to remain independent, and was soon subjugated once more. Still, Daemon did not consider his debt fulfilled. Subjugation was not enough. Balon should die by his hand. Considering what happened to King Daemon's father, many thought it the height of foolishness. But Daemon needed to satisfy his honor. He challenged Balon Greyjoy to a duel. Against the wishes of many, but to the surprise of few, the berserker Ironborn, one of the most famous warriors of his age, bested the young king easily and left him dead on the dueling grounds. In the east, King Stefan of the Summer Crown came of age in captivity. The evil regent Lothar Frey continued to rule in his name, while Stefan was locked away in the east wing of the palace. This situation would persist for months, until Stefan managed to escape and enlist the help of Howland Reed and the other members of the royal bodyguard. Lothar the Lame was confronted in the throne room of the Prince's Palace, and though he managed to escape justice at first, a quick siege of his castle Morgos saw his imprisonment, the revocation of all his landed titles, and eventually his beheading. The Barbathians were once again in control of the kingdom they had forged. Tyrion Lannister was appointed as the new hand, while Stefan's mother, Lysa Tully, served as the realm's master of whisperers in his stead. One of the first acts King Stefan undertook was to secure a marriage to his beloved twin sister, Jaina. The two had been close in their youth, as close as only twins can be. So Stefan wanted his sister to have a good life, and was willing to spend highly to achieve it. Stefan had set his sights high. His sister was to marry the new King of the Iron Throne, his cousin, Michael Baratheon, who had succeeded his brother Daemon after the latter had been slain by Balon Greyjoy. It took many a bribe and expensive gift, but Michael eventually accepted the offer to marry his cousin. Queen Jane and Baratheon of the Iron Throne would enter King's Landing in triumph. Twin kingdoms with twin rulers. The symbolism was not lost on anyone. After having secured this marriage, however, Stefan would not get to enjoy his kingdom for long. A religious revolt in Lys, led by a local zealot by the name of Pyrrhos, would soon occupy the city itself. King Stefan led a force of some 12,000, and once they disembarked on the shores of the island city, a huge battle took place. While the forces of the Summer Crown outnumbered the Lysini rebels, Pyrrhos knew King Stefan personally led the army, and chased him down on the battlefield. Wearing the Blackfish's armor, King Stefan put up a good fight, but eventually he was slain on the field of battle by the Lysini zealot. Even without Stefan's leadership, the revolt was crushed, but the king lay dead in the field. He was succeeded by his unremarkable and cruel brother, Oliver Baratheon. At least the king knew love before the end. The love that Stefan bore his wife Marjorie Tyrell was well known to all singers under the Summer Crown. This could not be said for King Michael Baratheon of the Iron Throne. He had barely come to know his new wife Jaina, before he once again foolishly attempted to take revenge on Balon Greyjoy. Another duel took place, another bloody mess ensued. Balon had killed his third Baratheon king. His status among the Ironborn was now legendary. King Oliver Baratheon, meanwhile, started his rule with a lackluster coronation ceremony and some arbitrary and borderline tyrannical imprisonments. Many would have preferred his brother and heir, Cameron, whom, men said, was a true knight, strong, brave, a skilled warrior, kind and patient, and adhering to the codes of courtly love. He stood in shrill contrast to his brother the king, who was widely known to be unjust, envious, fat and sanctimonious. Only months into King Oliver's rule, about half of his vessels refused to pay their tribute, intending to ignore all orders from the king in Murr from now on. This group included the ungrateful Mark Wiswell and Ethan Glover, who owed everything they had to Oliver's father, and Morio, Tumitis of Tyrosh, and Taganaro Seldoris of the Northern Marches. It seemed the young king needed to prove himself. This disobedience would be put down by the sword. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 8 of The Dragon Hunt, and welcome back to JGL Gaming, of course, my channel. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. It seems this uh, this is, uh, playthrough so far has had a quite consistent audience, although it dropped a little bit after the first video, but that, that's normal, you know. Uh, welcome back, yes. Um, as you may have noticed, 
we have a new sigil. Yeah, so this is the the new sigil of the Kingdom of the Summer Crown uh, because I think it was Meteor in the chat who said uh, in, in, in the Discord. I mean, you know, the link in the description <laughs> if you guys want to join that. But he said, um, you know, we are not really focused on hunting dragons anymore, so it doesn't really make sense to have a sigil where a dragon is being pierced with a spear, which was our, our previous sigil. So after some discussion in the chat, this is what we ended up uh, making, or yeah, what I ended up making with some uh, some input from uh, the guys in the chat. It's, uh, it's a stack that is facing the opposite way of the normal Baratheon stack, so we're facing east. And we have Robert's Warhammer, and we have some waves signifying that we crossed the ocean, and I, uh, I kind of like this idea, and I, I think it turned out rather well. Uh, yeah, and uh, but we ended, uh, ended up... Uh, Ended last episode with a big cliffhanger because uh, Mark Wiswell, Lord of the Lycini Disputed Lands, uh, started an independence faction together with uh, the Lord, this this Lord over here, uh, Lord Taganaro Seldoris, together with Ethan Glover down here in the south, the Mirrors Disputed Lands, and together with the Magister of Tyros, which is who is especially dangerous, considering he has something like uh, 8,000. Or nearly 8,000 troops. So this is going to be a tricky war, I feel. So we need to move fast. I think I will uh, turn the speed down quite a bit because I think we need all of our uh, all of our resources and all of our cunning to be able to win this uh, this war. Uh, yes. Okay, Mark Biswell. Uh, I will not be blackmailed. I will not be blackmailed, my boy. Let's see. 112 percent. So they outnumb. There's uh, if, if you guys don't know what this what this percentage means. Um, it basically means, I believe, if they leave, I will be able to raise about uh, 13,000 men. And they have about 16,000. So that's uh, that's tricky. But uh, I think we we, 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 have a, we stand a good chance of survival nonetheless. And Oliver um, is currently in the shadow of his other siblings. Of course, he's in the, in the shadow of uh, Stefan the Open-Handed. The charitable uh, man who died in battle in a glorious combat fighting in Lys, and of his younger brother Cameron the Blessed, who is an amazing fighter, and we gave him uh, Robert's Warhammer last episode. So uh, I think Oliver kind of welcomes this chance to uh, to prove himself to secure his rule, and he is an arbitrary ruler, so he will definitely not <laughs> treat the uh, the vessels who betray him uh, lightly. So let's see. Lord Mark Lucky has declared I've seen disputed lands league independence war on King Oliver of the Summer Crown. Right, let's raise our troops. Let's raise our troops, people. We have about 4,000 troops in our domain. We have about 10,000 troops in our vessels, actually. That's, 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 that's not insignificant. So you guys can go here. And then we have a troop, couple of troops here in Lease. We will raise the fleet in Lease. And we will have uh, the fleet pick up some troops here as well. Uh, you guys... Hmm, I think we can probably uh, we can probably afford to move through enemy land towards Mur. Oh, and of course we can raise our mercenary band, the Second Sons, who are still uh, who are still uh, in uh, 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 our vessels. So that, uh, that that helps us a lot as well. Sworn Shield. Uh, let's see. We need a new bodyguard, Cameron. Yeah, Cameron, my boy. You can be my bodyguard. I hope. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess we have to give him the Warhammer first. So he's got Robert's Warhammer now, which will up his combat skill, I think, to 90. Come oh, on, man. 75. He, he's not equipping it, I guess. Yeah, there we go. 90. Okay. My guy, we would like you to become our bodyguard. And we also would like you to become our commander. There we go. Okay. Uh, this main army can be led by me, Oliver. And we have our brother in the right flank. And Donico, Captain of the Second Sons. Uh, or somebody else. I uh, Wendell, Wendell Manderley, I guess, in the uh, left flank. He's been with the Dragonon since the beginning, so I think we, we trust him implicitly. Uh, yeah, you guys can move down here. Uh, we have a little army here, which we can pick up later. And I see the Tarashi have already arrived here in uh, Robert's Landing, so we should definitely be quick about it. Uh, should we wait for these guys? It's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea. And then we can hopefully aid the uh, the Moorish army because the the, uh, the Tarashi are coming with a hundred ships so I think they have something like ten max a maximum of ten thousand or so troops so we definitely need to do something about that oh in fact they are already fighting two thousand troops here in Robert's Landing um should we jump in we could try I think it will be too late though mm, 
Yeah, let, let, let's just retreat with these guys. Let's just, let, let's just do a tactical retreat. You guys, hurry up. Yep, 4,000 troops. All right, get on those boats. Get down to Mur. I think we have a decent force. I think we stand a pretty good chance of, of winning this rebellion. At least I hope so. Uh, yeah, everybody merge. And oh, <laughs> the game just takes me off as main commander uh, automatically. Oh, well. We do want to fight, though. We want to prove ourselves. We, uh, we don't want to give... Our younger brother Cameron, all the glory. Okay, we have 9,300 troops. We should be quick. Let's wait for the final reinforcements to arrive. And there, there we are. Yep. Yeah, okay, 13,000 troops. That that is a significant force, actually. So we should be able to take down this Tarashi army down here. So let's move down there immediately. No, no, no. I want to be in charge again. I know I'm not the best commander, <laughs> but I want to prove myself. I'm Oliver Baratheon, man. I'm a king in my own right. I should be able to fight if I want to. All right, 6,000 troops. Already we're getting ticking war score against us. Yep, so we should go after the disputed Lysini disputed lands as soon as possible. Uh, oh, uh, these, why are these 2,000 troops? Oh, th th these came from uh, Kylos. Okay, they can join the battle. That is fine. All right, 13,000 against 8,000. Come on, let's fight this battle. Ah, oh, this is immediately the Magister of Tyrosh. I mean, it's dangerous, but we're going to fight him. We have 65 combat skill, he has 55, but we really want to prove ourselves, you know. We want to we want to prove to the realm that we are better than uh, than our brother Cameron. Prepare to die, to meet this scum. Oh, he run back to Tyrosh. Okay, I guess he didn't want to fight us. That's probably a clever move. Courtney was captured. Different Courtney, that's fine. Uh, the Trekkie Wedding. Your bastard brother, Sir Willem, has recently arrived in Krasai Lakik while on his foreign tour. There he has been invited to many feasts and events by local dignitaries and was even invited as a guest of honor to the wedding of Motho and Izzy, hosted by Kao Ho Ka Horo Malako. All right. All right, Willem. That is uh, that is interesting, at least. No game. <laughs> just let me do this, man. <laughs> just, just let me lead my own army, man. <laughs> the game is constantly reminding me. I can't stop thinking about those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. Guards, oil up the rack. I mean, I would do that, right? Yeah, I would do that. I'm cruel, but I'm already arbitrary, so that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm not not really a great king, but hey. Uh, let him rot. To another battle against the Tarashi, and then we will head south to the Lysini Disputed Lands and try and seize, uh, seize some of their castles as soon as we can. I think it makes sense to uh, chase the Tarashi down one more time. All right, let's head south. Uh, Balon the Tormentor is once again going, <laughs> going to war <laughs> against King Edric. I guess it's an independence war again. War against the tyranny. I guess he, try, he, he tried to imprison Balon. That makes sense. Okay, Edric. Am I his heir now? No, not quite. I mean, I'm like second in line, right? Let's see. Uh, Lionel Breton, Oliver Breton. Yeah, I'm <laughs> second in line to the Iron Throne. So if Edric dies to uh, at Balon's hands once again, we'll just have this, this little two-year-old child between us and the throne. I mean, that would be pretty cool if we inherit the throne. I mean, uh, I think I, I'm, I'm just going to roll with that if that happens. Get out of Murr, you pricks. Get out of here. Uh, I guess we can probably turn up the speed one little bit. Um, yeah, we, we, I think we should we should take a castle first. Otherwise, the ticking war score will continue to go against us. It's already at minus 25. So it goes really fast. That's why independent revolts can be quite annoying. Uh, okay, let's just storm this place because we want to grab something ASAP. All right, that's it. One percent. One percent, really. Mm -hmm. mm. Tech controls all their holdings. No, they do not. Oh, these are the 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 other the other disputed lands. We need to go south, I guess. The Lysini disputed lands. Otherwise, it doesn't count for some reason. Uh, we lost. We lost our master of coin, really. Axel died. Axel, uh, Axel Florent. Okay. But Almeri Florent is the new leader of uh, Morgos and he freaking hates me. Why? I don't know. I really don't understand. Okay, fine. We need a new Master of Coin then. Joffrey Lannister, 21 stewardship. Damn. I mean, you're very welcome to be my Master of Coin. You're married to my sister. This is the uh, Jarian's uh, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 uh, we owe a debt of gratitude to uh, Jarian Lannister who served us ably and loyally for many years and uh, we also owe a debt to the few vessels that still uh, are um, that, that are still loyal to us 
uh, Lancel Lannister, but he is incompetent, <laughs> and Joffrey Lannister. So uh, yeah, of course we're gonna make you our master of court. We might even make you our hand of the king, actually. Now let's just uh, let's just make uh, keep Tyrion as hand of the king for now. All right, let's charge some of these fortresses. There we go. That's that's an immediate thirty percent. Get out of my land. Uh, I always imagined I would be the first of us to go. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> Axel was 71 and I'm 19. <laughs> so <laughs> it was bound to happen, but hey. Never again will I hear Axel's jolly laugh. Mm, he's, not, he's not that jolly. <laughs> uh, or I receive his wise counsel. It is, it, it, it is as if I have lost an essential part of myself. Um, friendship will only hurt you in the end. I can break my friendship with these two kids. Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty cynical guy, right? Yeah, so let's let's say that. Friendship will only hurt you in the end. Oliver is, uh, is kind of becoming a little bit of a tyrant here. Ah, okay, we're gonna have a chance to prove ourselves again against Priest Harold of Silk Hat. Prepare to die, scum. Oh, he ran back to, uh, he, he ran away from me once more. All right. Uh, we captured Benton Snow, our former friend. We captured him in battle. And we kept, captured this priest as well in battle. Uh, we should ransom you off. Um, Benton Snow is our our friend. Can we ransom you? 46 gold, nice. Yeah, let's do it. Because uh, this is a risk well, right? So it doesn't really matter. Okay, we should... Oh, we should head, head after these guys up, up north. Uh, very well, she'll be merciful. Except paying for your ransom. Great, that, that gives us quite a bit of money, actually. Uh, Netball, let him rot. He's a trader. He's a kind man, but he's a trader. Let's head north and take care of this big army here before they can uh, unite with the rest of their uh, their army. Where are you going, man? Let, let me fight you. Oh, somebody is attacking the disputes for us. Let's head down there. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen was imprisoned by King Edric Baratheon and stood accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm. Sir Giles Martin presided over, over the trial during which the prisoner was uh, ultimately found guilty. As a consequence... Daenerys has been locked in the dungeons of the Red Keep. All right, interesting. Let's see what will happen to uh, to old Danny. Uh, she is a mystic, authoritative, rude. She also got a little fat. <laughs> we, we, we need to head down here this, this, because the, the ticking war score uh, malice is insane. So you really need to, <laughs> you really need to in, during Independence War, you really need to pay attention to that. I think we will just. Continue besieging some castles here in the disputed lands. I think that's probably quicker and easier. Oh, but uh, the rebel leader is is in this army, so we should chase him down. Man, I'm so slow. Do I have do I have an organizer? No, guess not. Let's see if we can do a duel with uh, with Mark Wiswell. No, I guess not. Okay, then we then we should head down to uh, the disputed disputed lands. Oh, he's besieging Murr itself. Princess Palace is under siege. I mean, I think I will just take a little detour to the Lysini Disputed Lands and grab some land. Else, he will just win by default. Okay, now head north. Uh, I, I, we, we should... Well, I, I, I want to lead this army myself, man. I want to prove myself. I don't want to put an organizer in charge. Uh, Master Colio is overjoyed. Minimal city taxes. No, no, no. Get out of here. Uh, look. Paramount Balon the Tormentor accepted King Edric of the Iron Throne's piece of Okay, let's see if he if Balon Greyjoy now finally dies. <laughs> or is he is he gonna release him again? Daenerys Targaryen was beheaded on the orders of King Edric of the Iron Throne. Okay, thank you, Edric. <laughs> That's one less Targaryen to deal with, I guess. How many are left? Zero. Then he was the last Targaryen. Was she? Yeah, we have we, we only have Jon Snow left. Interesting. Okay, so, th so the, the, the last legitimate Targaryen has died off screen. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I don't know what exactly she did to anger my uh, my nephew Edric, but um, I'm happy he uh, he decided to uh, to make sure she never comes back. I, uh, I'm happy she didn't exile him. Uh, he he didn't exile her or uh, or just imprison her. I'm glad. Uh, this Targaryen woman is is actually dead. Okay, we have another big battle coming up here in Myr. We are gonna relieve the siege of Myr. Let's do that immediately, and then immediately head, head back south. <laughs> uh, we need a new master of laws, really. Who died? Well, Courtney died, I guess. 
man. All these guys are... Okay, we, we can have Marjorie now. It's a new master of, uh, of laws. Why do you hate me? Invoke my honorary title, did I? I don't think I did. This game can be a bit weird about that sometimes. Um, Marjorie, you can be my regent. We need to grab some land, and then we will win the war. You better die, Glovers. Come on, we're going to fight Ethan Glover himself. Yes, let's do it. All right, my faith in the gods gives me strength. Yeah, I'm zealous. I forcefully overwhelmed this defensive stance. Ours is the fury. Lord Ethan is slain. Okay, we slayed Ethan Glover, one of the uh, the rebel uh, rebel leaders. Fala Margulis. Plus 20% morale, great. Lord Paramount Rickard II of the North has inherited Castle of Drunkard's Tower. Okay, fine, I don't care. Okay, let's just storm this place. My courtier Sir Giles Martin has died, and you are humbly invited to his funeral. Uh, sorry, man. I have no time for that right now. Lord pa Okay. <laughs> Balon escaped once again. Well, at least Edric didn't uh, participate in the trial by combat himself. So Giles Martin died. This is the son of uh, Commander George Martin, <laughs> who died. Okay, well, uh, at least uh, Balon once again escaped, but at least he didn't kill another king. <laughs> that would have been quite silly. Can't storm this place. Leave me alone. I need to storm some castles. Thank you. Okay, let's storm this army. 3,000 troops. Prepare to die, Timothy Scum. This is the son of the Magister of Tyrosh. Yeah, we're going to fight him, right? We're going to prove ourselves once again. We did, um, I guess, increase our uh, our combat skill a little bit. We're going to go for it, right? This will not end until one of, one of us yields from injury. We might well die here. Because this is a duelist with 75 personal combat skill. I, we should, I, I should have put my sub mod on because I have... I always think it's really weird that duelist doesn't give you any personal combat skill. It should, I think. It should give you quite a lot, in fact. Like plus 20 or something like that. So I think I think I will uh, will mod that in uh, later. This will not yield. This will not end until one of us yields from injury. Yes. Defend yourself. He attempts sly kicks and cunning trips until he sees an opportunity to strike with his dagger. Defend yourself. <gasps> King Oliver. King Oliver has died. He tried to prove himself in battle, but he failed. Well, he he, he proved himself in battle here and there, but uh, he failed this time. He's gonna be uh, succeeded by. His strong brother, Cameron the Blessed. And uh, I think the realm will be uh, better off for it. <laughs> but uh, it's a shame for King Oliver, I suppose. He almost won his war. He almost proved himself. But uh, he ended up not being better than uh, than his brother after all. A tragic end for a tragic life. But uh, the realm is probably pleased. Because his successor is King Cameron, being a talented military technician. Expecting to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live King Cameron. Yes, he will become... Uh, war focused. Uh, my brother deserves to be honest with a funeral, yes, but we will only invite the Baratheon family, I think, because we don't really have money for it. Ah, the court. Court can be invited as well. Uh, we need to reappoint our uh, our council. We will appoint Tyrion as Hand of the King. We will appoint. Where's Marjorie? Lysa Talina. I guess we still need to. We can marry Marjorie again, I guess. She's 30 years old, but sure. <laughs> Um, sure, yeah. <laughs> did she give, did she give any, any, any kids to any of us yet? No. Come on, uh, Marjorie, make me a son. Make Cameron a son. <laughs> we really need, uh, need sons, because otherwise our line will die out. Who is my heir now? Theo, Lord of the Reach. Lord of the Reach. Theo Tyrell. Ouch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we really need kids then. We really, really need kids. I might want to seduce my wife in that case. Let's just sway our wife at least. Um, Master of Laws, Marjorie, welcome back. We will also appoint you as the de designated regent, or you already are. Master at Arms, Howland Reed, yes. Master of Coin, Joffrey, Master of Whisperers, uh, Lysa Tully, right? We had appointed my mom. Uh, a new Maester, but we have a Maester. A Septon. Uh, you can continue with the conversion. All right, let's focus on this war, though. We need some more bodyguards, apparently. Aegon Frey, fine, 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 fine. We, we don't have uh, we don't have the time to get crowned right now. Uh, we Osmera Baratheon, yep. Uh, I remember you. You can be trained by Marjorie again. Um, we can imprison our mom. We will lose uh, a title on succession because we have no heir of our dynasty. Ouch, that is dangerous. <laughs> oh well. Our king was dead. Uh, High Councilor of the Iron Bank of Bravos arrived in Murray, seeking repayment of the debts of my brother, King Oliver Baratheon. I have to go on right here. 
Uh, Benjamin is too cynical for his age. Yeah, he's clear-sighted. I don't care. Okay, 100%. Well, okay, at least we won this uh, this uh, this rebellion. And uh, my brother, uh, even though he was killed in this uh, battle uh, by the... Who, who killed him? Pacario Tumitis, the son of the Magister of Tyrosh. At least he did manage to uh, kill one of the rebel lords. So I think he did prove himself in battle a little bit. Uh, and I, I think he didn't really live long enough for me to tr thoroughly hate him. <laughs> for uh, Cameron the Blessed to thoroughly hate him. He's still a family person, you know. Um, 100%. Okay. Of a piece. Mark the Lucky is imprisoned. Yes. You're dead man, uh, Mark. I mean, at least we're going to retake all your land. And give it to someone else. Uh, thank you for the High Lordship. And thank you for the Lordship. Oh, I guess we can't... We can't take his lordship from him. Let's banish him to the Night's Watch. No, actually, let's execute him. I mean, he, he's a rebel, right? Change fear by 10. That's fine. We had him. I think that is more than fair. Because <laughs> this guy is a rebel. Um, what about uh, the other rebel lords, though? Lord Taganero? Let's imprison this guy. You're a dead man, sir. We will, uh, we will take care of all these rebel lords. As we must. Uh, we should also imprison the Lord of Tyrosh, actually. Mm, should we wait with that? No, no. Let, let, let's let's just imprison him immediately. Let's just call this a continuation of the uh, of the uh, of the war, of the uh, rebel war. I think that is uh, perfectly fair. I will spend leverage on food. No, no, no. We we, uh, we have no no money to spend on these uh, these excesses. Uh, Cameron, yes, you can lead the army. Uh, Wendell and Alexander. Stormlander guy, sure. Head down to Mur, everybody. We need to deal with these rebels. The rest of these rebels, I should say. Let the feasting commence. Uh, oh, uh, a raven has arrived bearing a message from your bastard brother, Sir Willem. He says he is stranded in New Geese, having expended all of his coin and then abandoned by his men. Apparently, he has been begging for free passage uh, back home to Mur and asked for assistance. Yeah, yeah, we can. 100 gold. I mean, I guess we can afford it. Sure. We want Willem here. He's our, our, our half-brother. In fact, we should appoint him as a, as a commander. Uh, where is he? Willem. Willem, my guy. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back home. <laughs> we uh, we need you in uh, in the flank. Where are you? Yep. He was a man who was immensely fat. Untrue. <laughs> Once again, uh, the uh, the death, uh, the death uh, sign, the death text uh, fails. He was a well-respected swordsman, being one of the more capable in history. Yeah, he was okay. He was okay. Not as good as me, though. I've got a hundred personal combat skill. I'm wearing the Blackfish's armor now. I feel like I could lift a small house plus two health. Plus ten personal combat skill. We are really Robert come again. We will be a better man than Robert was. We are a uh, chaste, patient, kind. We're much more of a knight than uh, Robert ever was. But oh, Tyrion died. Died of cancer. Ouch. Okay. Tyrion the Imp, our hand of the king, has perished. That's a shame. Did he uh, leave any kids? Joanna Lannister, I guess so. Alright, but we need a new hand of the king, though. Uh, let's just appoint Courtney for now. We will uh, we will replace you later. We might replace you with uh, Joffrey Lannister at some point. Do we have a good master of coin to replace him? Not quite yet, but uh, we will deal with that after the war. We need to win, win this war first. And Balon is once again at war <laughs> with Edric. <laughs> oh man, this is getting really silly now. This guy's a tyrant, dishonorable, suspected kingslayer. kinslayer. Alright. Your Grace, I'm pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after our successful siege of Long Lake. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment. For your Grace, send them, to the, send them to the dungeon. Take them all into house arrest. Yeah, let's do that. We have won the war against Lord Taganaro the Scart. Uh, so we will imprison this man. And we will grab all his land. But we have no time to rest on our laurels because we have another rebel lord to deal with. So let's head south. And... Uh, Raise our armies. Uh, now you guys can stay where you are. Uh, we want to revoke your land. The Murish Flatlands. And ideally we want to revoke some more. Yeah, Lordship of Long Lake. Great. All right. Do we have any other traitorous vessels imprisoned? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can give out the Lordship to somebody. Uh, who should we give it to? Mm, Howland Reed? He does deserve it. But I think still I'm not going to give it to him. Because it will just be inherited by uh, Jojen. Um... The Queen, Master Clement, Queen Marjorie. Mm, let's see. 
who is in my realm. Uh, who is a decent steward. I mean, Joffrey Lannister is a good steward, but... Uh, on my hand of the king, Courtney of the Disputed Forest. Now we will give him the... Um, this High Lordship, the, the Lysini Disputed Lands. So he is serving us already as our hand of the king. And he deserves it. Here you go, my guy. Oh, okay, I guess it became a republic. I didn't really want that. Oh well, <laughs> that's fine, I suppose. Um, but who will give the uh, Northern Lordship to the, the Mirish Flatlands? Let's see. I've grown increasingly attached to Marjorie, and though our marriage was merely a practical arrangement, I wonder if I have now come to love her. Yeah, this is a marriage of love. We really need a we really need a son, uh, Marjorie. Already she has um, she does have uh, she does have the ambition to have a son, so that should help. Ah, Sir Oliver Witters, welcome, welcome to our court. We have invited you from the uh, the Reach. I guess you are a friend of uh, of Marjorie's, probably, because you are uh, the grandson of the Lord of Witters, the Castellan of Torrent Peak. Uh, yeah, uh, so and, and you are you are a very good steward. So I think we will just give you Long Lake. There you go, uh, the High Lordship of Mirish Flatlands. There we go. So we have another Westerosi in charge. So that leaves only, I think, the Magister of Tyrosh as the last non-Westerosi lord, which is fine by me. I mean, uh, we are a Westerosi kingdom after all. Ransom all prisoners. Yeah, we, we can ransom some prisoners. Let's see if Taganaro has some money left. You notice know, Sarah is being very stubborn. I don't care. Uh, well, Willem, we could have given it to Willem Fire, of course. I have butter. That's a good point, actually. We might want to give him Tyros then. Or we want to keep Tyros for ourselves, really. If I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. Majority of the population in Kilos has been converted to Phase 2 7. Alright, so we're really starting to uh, convert people now. Let's see if we can finally deal with this man. The Magisters of Tyros have been a thorn in our side ever since they voluntarily subjugated themselves to uh, Robert Baratheon. And we wanna. We wanna. We wanna make sure that uh, they don't rise up again. Let's put a Westerosi in charge, or put ourselves in charge. Okay, 60%. I guess we do need to besiege the main uh, main uh, land of Tyrosh. Okay, fine. Fair enough. We should get a, a siege leader from uh, from the mainland. If we can find one. Marwin, my guy. We're going to need you, because we want to besiege uh, Tyrosh. Does it help if you have multiple siege leaders in your army? Does that help? I mean, we could try, I guess. Balen Swan. Is this the balance one? It is. <laughs> okay, well, we want you in our court anyway. So if you want to be our uh, our siege leader, that is fine as well. Hello, balance one and uh, Marwin. We uh, we wouldn't mind uh, making balance one our bodyguard for one, but also uh, having some having some having some siege leaders in our in our troop. Uh, Sir Wendell Manley, Commander Jeremy. You can be replaced by Marwyn and Lord Ormery. You can be replaced by Balon Swan. So I think it will be me here, and then we will put Marwyn here and Balon here. I think that is probably the best way to do it, and then hope I hope we can uh, siege down uh, Tyros quickly enough. Okay, the siege of Tyros is going quite fast. King Aegon, you're back. <laughs> Has declared King Aegon's claim on the Iron Throne. Okay, hopefully this time he will be murdered. Because I think this is still the last person who claims to be a Targaryen at least. But, I, I mean, I guess... Yeah, or Balon is winning his war. Is Balon once again besieging the King's Landing? No, I don't think so. I don't see any siege engines here. Okay, we besieged Tyrosh, I think. Absurd request. Yes, we besieged this successfully. Okay, great. Tyrosh is ours. My rival is surrendering to me. Yes, accept. My guy, you're a dead man. Let him rot. Let him rot. Let this guy rot. Uh, let's lower our troops. There we go. Okay, I think the last remnants of the original Dragon uh, Lord, uh, Dragon Hunt army are gone now. That is fine. Okay, but our final rebel has, uh, has been imprisoned. We have already taken the land, the lands of uh, of this man. The, uh, the Mirish Flatlands, lands of uh, Taganaro, Taganaro Saldoris. We, we took his lands, we took the lands of Mark Riswell down here. We've given them to Courtney Nightwick, good name. And uh, the uh, the Glovers, the, uh, Ethan Glover was murdered in uh, single combat by our brother. So uh, we consider that that repaid as well. So the last rebel lord, so the lord of Tyrosh, we will take his land. The high city of Tyrosh. 
and the city of Tyros. Thank you. Ideally, I want um, I want this barony so that I can. Uh, can we? If we kill her, then we will inherit this. I think so. Okay, then l l let's just do that then. Uh, to put you in the ten percent, yes. Uh, organize a coronation ceremony. Kingdom of Mur. I really need a kid. <laughs> I really, really need a kid. Call him for trial. Yeah, let's call him for trial. Let's call you for trial. He will try. He, he wants to uh, fight in trial by combat. All right. Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna pick? This guy. Sixty combat skill. We have 115. Yeah, let's, let's handle this ourselves. Please don't kill us. <laughs> Let the duel begin. The gods will guide me. Strike. It's all over now. Oh, he, uh, he rolled over. All right. My faith in the gods gives me strength. Strike. It's all over now. Oh, I guess he, uh, he once again escaped. <laughs> He's no match for my might. Strike. It's all over now. Come on, man. <laughs> not, uh, one mistake is all you'll get. Strike. Arch of the Fury. He's slain. Okay, great. Great, great, great. <laughs> I was kind of worried that we would be uh, we would be killed again. Fala Mogulis. The gods were not in your favor, uh, Lord Morio. Um, can we murder you now? Execute him. The gods commanded. Yes. We had him. That's the end of that rebel lord. We have a new one who also hates me. Okay. <laughs> Executed kinsman. Can we revoke your land? Nope. Can we imprison you? Okay, so this guy I guess we have to take care of somehow. We could just revoke his title, I guess. Do our vessels like me enough for that? Not really. Not really. Too many held high lordships, really? Uh, high lordship of Lee, high lordship of Tyrus, high lordship of Mar Yeah, okay. Okay. I guess we could give away the high lordship of Lee. I want to keep the city itself. We could give away the high lordship. Because this guy hates us. <laughs> the high lordship of Lee. Yeah, oh, he hated my predecessor much more than he hates us. Ormory Florence, sure, we can give you the high lordship of Lee. Here you go. We won't give you the city of Lees, but uh, hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be fine. I oh, know that this, this this didn't help him at all. Okay, <laughs> well at least we gave away this high lordship. That is fine. Um, yes. Uh, so organize a coronation ceremony. Uh, ruler and crown. Yeah, yeah. Let's organize a coronation ceremony. Let's do it. Uh, we should maybe. Hmm. It might be wise to um, legitimize leg legitimize Willem Fire. Can we do that? Give a Kedat dynasty, get a Kedat dynasty. All right, I guess we can't uh, le le legitimize this man. That's a shame. But we will, we will organize a coronation ceremony at least. Let's do that. Only the High Septon is fit to crown me. Ah, okay. We're gonna kill the uh, the, the person who holds the barony here in Tyros. Uh, I shall be honored. Uh, yes, marvelous, great. Extravagant ceremony. Yes, we need one. It will never be soon enough. Uh, High Septon the 23rd approaches me tonight to personally inform me of how satisfied he is with the great month of festivity I've organized to accompany my coronation. He wanted to be sure that I knew of how welcome he feels at my court and that he expresses, expects great things of me. I'm flattered. Thank you. Thank you, my guy. Uh, this guy picked a fight with somebody. With me, actually. Okay. Oh, those nasty bandits. All right. Uh, we have murdered the, uh, the barony holder here. We can give away the city now. And we can hold Tyrosh. Huge Tyroshi fortress. Damn. Is that bigger than my uh, my current fort? I think so, yeah. Hmm. 10,000 levy. We might want to move to the Bleeding Tower, actually. What about Lees? Also, a small I see. Okay, so Tyrosh is, I guess, the largest uh, fortress that we, we currently hold under our direct rule, actually. What do you guys think? Should we move our capital to Tyrosh? It makes some sense, I guess, because it's right on the uh, on the border between uh, between our kingdom and uh, and Westeros. It's really uh, it's just probably the it's probably about as large or larger city than Mur. All right, well uh, let, let's hold off on that. I'll, I'll see what you guys think. Um, let's wait for the coronation to uh, to be over. And finally, and truly, king, extravagant coronation plus ten vessel opinion. Great, so we've been crowned. We've been crowned. The new king of uh, of the uh, summer crown. I think we will end it on this 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 screen. I think this is a nice place to end it. So um, we really really need <laughs> a kit as soon as possible. But uh, I think the realm is happy. Uh, Marjorie is on her third husband. 
The, uh, she was the husband to Stefan. She was the husband to uh, Oliver. And she was the husband to me now, Cameron the Blessed. Okay, well, uh, the rule, the short rule of our both, both of our brothers, Stefan and Oliver, is now over. Let's hope the rule of Cameron will be uh, much more prosperous and uh, longer and uh, more fruitful. I think uh, the realm certainly has, certainly has high expectations of this guy. But let's just see if he uh, if the dynasty survives him. Um, and we have secured at least a strong position in our in our realm. We now hold Lise, Tyrosh, and Mur. So we are uh, pretty. Uh, we have eighteen k just in our domain. So I think uh, Cameron at least starts off this um, his rule in a position that is uh, incredibly strong, stronger than uh, anyone before him, except maybe uh, Robert the Brethian, Brethian himself. So. Uh, Let's see uh, what the future holds for Cameron the Blessed. And uh, let's see if the Kingdom of the Summer Crown will survive. Yes, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, yeah, I have a Discord. It's in the description. I have a Ko-Fi, so you can give me a couple of uh, euros if you want to. I have uh, I have a Reddit, which is not really used much, but I sometimes post uh, interesting artworks and that kind of thing on there. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you uh, in episode 9. Bye-bye.